two biggest producers announced first half results this week. De Beers reported earnings of $694 million, up from $255 million. Total sales jumped 30%. Rough sales rose 33%, and price growth contributed 35% to that figure. Production was just a tad above last year's first half at 15.53 million carats. De Beers' free cash flow fell 24%, and net debt dropped 27%. Al Rosa net profit jumped five-fold, sales rose 9%, and they said rub prices rose 41%. Production was up 8%. On the retail side, LVMH was a good measure of consumer demand for diamond jewelry and watches in the first half. The jewelry segment reported a 30% increase in sales. Better still, growth was reported in all geographies. Total company sales rose 13%. Profit rose 25% to nearly $2 billion. Sentiment from exhibitors at the JA Summer Show 2011 was largely subdued as demand failed to meet expectations with most of the sellers we spoke with. There is a feeling now that perhaps U.S. retailers are taking a break from adding inventory since U.S. consumers are holding tight to their discretionary income. Still, there were plenty of new designs and collections of all price points launched during the JA Summer Show. Take a look at just a few examples. We do something completely different in the setting of diamonds. Traditionally, diamonds are set in some sort of metal, whether it's gold or platinum. Um, about five years ago, we developed a process to set the diamonds in a carbon-based polymer. The reason we do that is we think that the overall look of the pave setting is so much more impressive because there's no prongs covering the diamonds and light can pass through the diamonds as well as the material. The material is extremely hard. Um, it can hold the diamonds in pre-existing holes that are made as part of the model. Um, the diamonds are set in those pre-existing holes and then the material is heated. In the heating process, the material expands about 15%, covering the girdles of the diamonds but not the tables. And that's actually what holds the diamonds in. Um, we've been doing this for about six years. Um, no diamond has ever fallen out. So, so we know in terms of quality, this is a, even a superior way to set diamonds as opposed to setting it in metal would be. Um, we did find out that we couldn't set colored stones because the heat process in setting was destroying the colored stones, but any, any type of diamond could be set. So we're setting colored diamonds, black diamonds, as well as white diamonds. I'm introducing now my tulip line for this show and I have these new pieces uh, with diamond and chrysoprase and it's just, I believe, it complements the pieces, my diamond prongs and this is my new line and then I have, these are also the, with the same line but I use a uh, um, diamond and silver on these pieces. But these are with the gold. And um, same line, I, ha I make it for the um, wedding bands. And, and I have the wrap, tulip wrap rings. I'm from Turkey, but I've been living here 20 years. And I'm just um, combining the tile textures in uh, um, tulip, tulip motifs on the old tiles on a, on a gold. Uh, that's what I use for, the, for this line. These are our most popular selling products. Um, we started out with these pendant layer chains in the spring. Um, we actually started out with some of the bright soft colors, lots of greens, orange, pink, you know, yellow was a big color this past spring. And they were so popular in Bendel, Henry Bendel's and Bloomingdale's that we decided to bring them back for fall. So looking for the fall and holiday, um, they are 28 inch pendant layer chains that, you know, you have the semi-precious stone on the side. This one we're looking at citrine and you can wear the pendant in the middle if you're a more symmetrical person or like myself, I like to wear the stones on the side. It's a little more interesting. So we do, we're doing those in the basic colors. Then we have them in, you know, the, the garnet color for holiday. And then we also have it in green onyx, which is a really interesting color. Um, so I think these will be very big sellers in the fall. Bloomingdale's has already um, placed an order for some of those, and I think they'll continue to sell. Then when we merchandise those, we also put them for 
person who likes something a little more simple. It's our simplest design, but you know, a very big seller. Just the plain chains, people can mix with necklaces they already own and kind of make it, make it their own. So those are very popular right now for us. The necklace here we're looking at is rutilated quartz in the center, and then we have citrine rondelles, faceted citrine rondelles on the side. Rutilated quartz is a great stone. A lot of designers are working with it right now. Um, it has these natural rutilates, traces of gold in the middle. So it's great, it will be great for fall, pairing with browns and camels, and then going into holiday, you know, going with the sparkle and all the gold sequins that I think will be coming out. So, and then we have a simple pair of earrings to go with it. But the great thing about um, here, a lot of our clients like that everything's handmade in New York, but we make as we go. So if someone wants a custom necklace, they want you know a different clasp or a different length, we're always happy to do that for them. So. In fact, the inspiration comes uh, at an instant. So uh, while we are, let's say, we found this pearl, the amorph pearl, and then with the pearl, we think what we can do with this. It goes according to the pieces that we found from uh, nature actually and then we go over it and then we give it a name or we give, uh, we give uh, life to it so this comes as the uh, torch of liberty uh, with an aquamarine and diamonds and uh, amorph pearl for example when we started this uh, pendant uh, we had the tassel idea and then we put the leaves on the top and then we call this the roadrunner uh, which we, uh, with my brother, we used to love when we were a kid. This is one of our dome rings. It has around 3.5 carats of G-color VS uh, diamonds on it. It's set on 18 karat gold, which is a really nice piece made with uh, marquees all over. This is something uh, new and traditional uh, in Middle East or Turkey or Istanbul right now and there is a Hagia Sophia mosque carved in a, a quartz and we make the setting for it. This is really an interesting work. This set or this type of work is called the Divan and Divan means in the old Ottoman or Istanbul culture um, it used to be the uh, government room actually and this is inspired from that. The main, the center stone, is the Pasha or the Sultan. And then the sitting, everybody was sitting around it. And they call that room the Divan Room. And these pieces are mostly inspired of that. Gold hit another record this week. Here is a look at how precious metals performed in the past seven days. For all the latest industry news, be sure to visit diamonds.net.